Hey everyone, I'm doing something a bit different today. Any of you that know me know that at work, two of my favourite things to do is read The Gruffalo and create artworks. Today, I thought I'd combine both and create these two toilet roll characters inspired by The Gruffalo. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. I've got one kitchen roll tube here and a pair of scissors. You're going to need a grown up to help you. And the first thing they need to do is cut it in half so you have two separate pieces then just here i've got my mouse color paint and i've got my gruffalo color paint and we're just going to paint one with the gruffalo color and one the mouse color and then we're going to add the pieces afterwards so i'm going to speed it up and go through it really quickly So while these are both drying, I'm just going to grab a piece of card or paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a square of it in the Gruffalo colour and a square of it in the mouse colour. And then I'm just going to set all of this aside and leave it to dry and then once it's dried we can start putting it all together. So it's been about half an hour and now everything is dried. So I've cut out some bits here. So I've got two horns for the Gruffalo. I've got his orange eyes, his green wart for his nose and some teeth. And the square that I painted earlier, I've actually drawn some ear shapes on. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut these ear shapes out. And then we'll be able to attach them to our Gruffalo head. I'm going to follow those lines around. You might need a bit of help with this one, but I'm sure lots of you will be able to do it yourselves. Cut that out. Let's see that they're roughly the same size. Almost, just make one of those a little bit smaller, I think. I want to have a very lopsided Gruffalo. Okay. And look, I've left two bits on the end so we can attach them. Okay, so then I'm going to start attaching everything. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on the ear tab. Press that down. Hold it really tight. And then on the other side as well, do the same. Lots of glue to make sure it doesn't come off. Squeeze it. So it doesn't come off. I'm going to put some glue on my horns as well. There's one. And here is the other. I have to squeeze these as well to make sure they really stay. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so there's a basic head. Then I'm going to get my orange eyes that I cut out earlier. I drew around a glue stick lid to get the perfect circle. So I'm going to glue one there and one there. Got huge eyes, this Gruffalo. And I'm going to attach the warty nose as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pen and I draw the pupils in the eyes. You can be looking down, maybe he's looking for that mouse. And then I notice that the Gruffalo actually has a bit of a wibbly wobbly smile. So make it a bit wibbly wobbly. And then I'm going to attach the tusks, these terrible tusks. I'll put those around the side. There's one. And here's the other. And then I'm going to start attaching his teeth as well. And the Gruffer has teeth that stick out the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do one going up. Oh, it's up to my finger. One going up. And then another one going down from the bottom of his wibbly wobbly smile. 
And then I've got another one here. I might put that around the side, like in the book. Put that around next to this tusk. And there's our Gruffalo. Right, we're going to move on to the mouse now. So just like I did with the Gruffalo, I've drawn some ear shapes here with tabs here so I can stick them to it. I've cut out two pink circles for the insides of the ears, two white circles for the eyes, and then we're going to make a tail at the end as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one out just like I did the other. So I cut those tabs. Again, you might need someone to help to do this, or you might be able to do it all on your own. There's one of my ears, and here's the other. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put some glue on my pink circles, stick it in the middle, same with the other. Stick it in the middle, and then fold these back, and I'm going to attach them to the body of my mouse. So there's one. I'll just squeeze this one really tight. Squeeze. Hopefully that one will stay on. Put the other ear on. Squeeze nice and tight. This mouse is going to have ears that really stick out. Okay, then I'm going to attach, actually I'm going to draw two pupils on the inside of the mouse's eyes. And then I'm going to attach the eyes. Stick that one on there. Looks a bit like a monkey at the moment. We had to sit to mouse by the end, hopefully. Stick that eye there too. Then I'm going to get my pink card again. I'm just going to cut a little bit of the corner off, like this. It's a little corner. And then I'm going to turn this into my mouse's nose. I'm going to glue that one on. Stick it there. And then just like in the book, as you can see by the mouse's nose here, I'm going to draw a black line at the bottom. I'll try and hold it still. It's going to come down, it's going to make a little mouth. I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, five, six whiskers. A bit crazy whiskers there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pink card and I'm going to cut a skinny line all the way up the top. And I'm going to turn this into the mouse tail. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get a paintbrush or a pen, and I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm going to let go. It's going to have a curly tail. Put lots of glue at the back. A bit more. And then I'm going to stick it on here. And it can jut out of the side like that. And there you have it. We've got our mouse, and we've got our Gruffalo. I'd love to see what you guys make as well. So if you make anything like this, maybe you could try and make the other characters too. I'd love you to send them to me so I can show everyone else what you've made. Our mouse and our Gruffalo. So here's the finished product guys. We've got our Gruffalo and we've got our mouse. I would love it if you guys want to have a go at home, either to make some other characters or even just do a picture and then send it in to me. I'll put down below how you can send it and then I can show it maybe on the next episode. See you soon guys, bye.